in today's session of Divorce Court. Markeisha Prayer says when she married Donald, she expected a man, not a wimp. What did he do as a man? He didn't do nothing. That's the problem. What was he supposed to do? You know, making love and things like that and taking oh. out the trash and things like that. So you're saying no. that he didn't, he wasn't good in bed? No, he wasn't. What and he didn't make love to you enough. It have a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with it. But he says he's the one who got the short end of the stick. But hell, I was the wife. What you expect? I mean, a housewife at that. That's what he wanted me to be. Why did you marry me then? Yeah, why did you marry her? Well, I had you coochie whip. Is coochie whip mean you had good sex? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Now, Markeisha Prayer and Donald Johnson square off one last time in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Markeisha Pryor versus Donnell Johnson. It's a marriage of one and one half years, and you want it to end. Mr. Johnson, why? Well, Your Honor, there's a lot of broken promises. I mean, first, you know, she said she'll go back to school. She never did. She said uh, she'll get a job. She never did. She just became a complete waste of space in my eyes. She's a waste of space? Yes. Why That's did she lie, have to go back to school for you to be that married to her? Lie. Excuse me? Why did you, she have to go back to school as a condition of marriage? That was it? No, she, she promised to do a lot of things. She never did any of that I stuff. I am in school. I'm in school as of now. N as what of are you now? Doing? As of now, yeah. since you separated. Yes, now, like a year and a half later. But she didn't go back to school when she promised? No. Why she did she have to go back to school, Mr. Johnson? Because she wasn't doing anything else. She was just laying around the house doing nothing, just watching TV, picking fights. So you asked her to go back to school? I asked her to do something. And I mean, what were you doing? I was working. Ms. Uh, Pryor, why didn't you go back to school? I was trying to, you know, get myself together. There was so much stuff yeah, going on. Get myself together. Time. What were you doing? Right. Well, I was going through family problems, for one. Put it like this, I just wasn't ready to go to school right then. You weren't ready to go to right. school? Right. Did you promise him you'd go to school? No, I did not promise him that I was going to school. Okay, now what about a job? Did you look for a job? Yes, I did. No, Try she to... didn't. Yes, I did. No, she didn't. Okay. What did you do to look no, for a job? No, she didn't. I went to, like, daycare centers and everything, oh. but, you know, I mean, I was trying to get myself organized, get the house organized. We didn't even have a bed to sleep on. We had to sleep what? on the floor for, like, a month. For, no, just about she lied. She even... lied. It was, it was a week. It was, a, it was a week. Well, whatever. Why you it sleep felt on the like floor it. a week? Because I had, you know, I had to pay for the apartment. I had to pay for everything. I what had kind to, of work I mean, do you do? I was in the Navy. I mean, I was not, it was not like I was making a whole lot of money. The Navy didn't provide housing? No. They gave you, they gave you advanced money. But it wasn't enough money. To buy a bed to as buy, well? To buy everything at one time. So what did you so buy? So I had to wait for my next check to come in to, to buy the bed. I bought a bed. I bought, the, I bought a TV. I bought a couch. I bought all that stuff. TV before the bed? Well, no. Bought the of bed course, TV is the most important thing. We bought it all thing. together. We bought it all together, though. It was all we bought everything at one time. So the first check you paid for the for the apartment. Yeah. And it then the next check so you bought the bed and the television. And, and the couch. And all of the furnishings. And and pots and pans and so forth and so, so on. So that only took a week. Not like she used them, but pots and pans and stuff. You bought pots and pans and she didn't use them. Not at all. Oh, you are a lie. Yeah. I did cook and I cleaned. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's funny to you. Hey, You're about sorry, to make I'm him sorry. choke. Uh, yeah, Why is I'm that about so to funny to you? Out. I'm sorry, Yarn. I'm about to pass out. That's a, that's a, that's a lie. That's she a lie. She ain't cook nothing. Nothing. Not nothing. So how did you eat? Man, I ate a lot of fast food. Don't stop lying. I think you I ate so much I pizza cook. hut. You know Man, I cook. please. So What's much your pizza. Meal? What's your best meal? What you cook? Uh, we cook like spaghettis and stuff like that. We? He well, said yeah, we did it together. I mean, we did it together. You know? I mean, watch that. If I go, if I go to work at five o'clock in the morning, y'all. So you you admit that you him. ate it's out not most like of kids the time. Running around the house and stuff. You admit that you ate out most of the time. Most of the time, right? And, and you were at home every day. Most of the time, yeah. Not going to every... school. But hell, I was the wife. What you expect? I mean, a housewife at that. That's what he wanted me to be. So See? in the housewife, doesn't that mean cleaning and cooking? Yes, ma'am. Well, if he would do what he was supposed to do as a man, maybe I would have. Like oh. good and bad, yeah. What, is, what? what didn't he do as a man? 
He didn't do nothing. That's the problem. What was he supposed to do? You know, making love and things like that and taking oh. out the trash and things like that. He didn't take out the trash and stuff like that. So you're saying no. that he didn't, he wasn't good in bed? No, he wasn't. What and he didn't make love to, to you enough. Right it have a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with it. I ain't got it. Had, oh, yeah, it she has lied a lot on to that do too, with it. So as a result of that, what did you do? I ain't do nothing. You didn't do anything either? No. Nope. You didn't go out with somebody else? No. Nope. After That's I, left, my after I left, after he told me that he didn't want me no more, hell yeah, excuse me. Then you went out with somebody else after he told you he didn't want you anymore. Right. Was this during the marriage or after you had separated? After we had separated. Is that right? I don't, I don't know what she did in Pensacola. I don't know. I... So she moved back to Pensacola? Yeah. Well, most of the time I pay, I, you know, I always called him. Most of the time that's all collect. I ever did. Yeah, collect. so it don't matter. You, you know how call? calls I get a day? No, how I much mean, do I have to pay for? I mean, like three, four times a day, collect call messages. While she's back in Pensacola. While she's back in Pensacola. Well, why did you go back to Pensacola? Because I had um, some very important business that I had to take care Tell of. Tell me about she that did. important business. Well, I had to go to court. Oh, I had, had to, to go, go to court. court, right? And he promised me that he was gonna come back and get me, and he never did. Why didn't you go back and get him? Cause I didn't want her. Oh, <laughs> good reason. You didn't want her once she left. She or you didn't want her before she left. I let her go. So I didn't want her. So why did you marry me then? Yeah, why did you marry her? Well, I had you coochie whooped. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Excuse me. Is coochie whip mean you had good sex? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Hey, it, it was. I mean, Is that what it was? It, well, no, it wasn't just that. I mean, she, back, she had her own place that time. She kept it clean. She cooked. But when we, once we got married, all that stopped. Yeah, but you made promises to me, too. Like, for Christmas, you like, was going to buy me a dog and all oh, this well, stuff. And now you ain't get a dog. He didn't keep so his up. promises, so I broke my mind. Did you yeah, separate within a month? About, yeah. About within a month. a month. I couldn't what take it. It wasn't you really that we were separated. It was couldn't just that I was supposed to have been going home to take care of some business, and he was going to come and pick me up and take me back. We was going to move to New York together. He never did. He did abandon me. I was in the Navy. Did you write That's him a letter? Why. No, I didn't. Did I didn't know where him? he was. Well, you know, I didn't know where he was. Did you write a letter was. to the last known address? No. no. She That's what not. you usually do, and then if it comes back, the person is gone. Did you try that? No, but he could have called if I didn't write. He said he, he was he finished. Called. How did you find him again now? Well, I called, and his mother told me and gave me the number where Stop. he was. Baby, yes, she I did. called you and gave you my phone number. And, and why did you do that if you were through? What? Why'd you do that if you were she through? She is my wife. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to think I was dead or nothing. When divorce court returns, the judge questions Donald about why Markeisha never met his mother. She never met your mother? Nah. You mean you were ashamed to take her to meet your mother? If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Markeisha Prayer, who's divorcing her husband Donald because she says he's lousy in bed. How did you get back with him today? Once he had called me and gave me the number, I called him and we went to talking and everything. And that was So good. then you start talking again? Yes. You tried to reconcile your relationship? No. What were you talking about? Just just common things. She would call me and tell me how many guys she was sleeping with. Oh, like I that. did not. Oh, oh no, no, she didn't I call didn't. Call me something you know, like that. You no, know? I did. I never did oh, that. Yeah, I you never did, did that. Yeah, I swear you God, did. I never did. Mr. Yeah, Johnson, you, did. you accepted a collect call for her to tell you how many guys she slept with? <laughs> You're not yeah. that stupid, are you? Well, I am. You know, well, I, she case, is my wife, just, though. I mean, I, if that's the case, then you know. I'm not saying every time she called me, she told me about some guy. When she got mad at me. She would tell me about some guy that she slept with or something Ms. like that. Ms. Pryor, would you call your husband and tell him about you sleeping with other men? I did not do that. She did? No, I didn't. You never told him? No. How does he know? Is it true? After, yeah. Well, yeah, she it told is true me. that I had said. Of course, she told of course me. it's I mean, true. You just, well, you just caught yourself in the line, now, didn't you? You just caught yourself in the line, didn't you? You just said you, you know, were, not you supposed to sit up and play with yourself, but you are married. I came all the way from Pensacola, Florida, to be with this man, and I tried to be with him, and if he don't want to be with me, then that's it. I didn't even think you know. he was coming. You came well, from hey, Pensacola came. to New I Jersey came. to be with him? I came. He was coming. But he already said he didn't want you. Why'd you go back? Because he didn't tell me that before. Oh. He did not tell... He did... You never told me that you did not want me. Excuse me, you told me that that's what he, he did said? Not really, he did not really she, tell me that. He didn't just say, well, Markeisha, I don't want to be with you no more. It was like, oh, well, we having problems, so why not just get the divorce? That's you know? right. What, what well, more do you mean? You, you ain't trying to be a man and work out your problems. So. I won't work them out with you. Yeah. What better way can he tell you that he doesn't want you when he said we're having problems, why not get a divorce? Divorce usually yeah, means I don't sure. want you. 
Yeah, well, pretty hell, much. He told me, excuse me, but he should have told me I left while I paid my money to go see him. Oh, That's please, one reason please. why you I did want my money. That's all I want. You did I it on want your own. I want my money. You want your You deserve it. You did it on your own. The money that I paid to go see him. To go see him in New Jersey? Yeah. That's right. How much did you pay? $171. And you want him to refund it? That's right. Because I paid that money for me to go all the way up there and see him to try to work this out. And he told me that he didn't want me no more. And that was it. That's and it. why did you go see him? it was a waste of money. You didn't want to see him? Yeah, I wanted to see him, of course. You He's didn't want to husband. try a little bit of that again, too? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> did he ask you to come? Yes. No. Yes, you no, did. No, yes, no, you did. No, you said no. you thought that it was time no. for me to meet your mother no, because no. I never made time his mother. for you to meet right. his mother? I never That's made right. his mother. That's a right. A year and a half after separation. I had a bad relationship a long time ago. A year and a half after you separated, right. it's time for her to meet your mother? <laughs> she never met your mother? Nah. You mean you were ashamed to take her to meet your mother? I wasn't ashamed, no. Well, why wouldn't you take your wife to meet your mother? It was at the time we was in, we was in, we was in Jacksonville. We was in Florida. You couldn't meet her by phone? Had you ever talked yeah, to her on the I phone? I talked to her on the phone. One time. Oh, so your mother oh, was in... Oh, you lying more than time. once. One time. That's it. I'll talk oh, to her one man. time. Your mother was in New Jersey? Yes. You said when she went to Pensacola, you decided you didn't want her anymore. So why is it time for her to meet your mother all of a sudden? I didn't say it was time for her to meet my mother. She yes, just she said did. that herself. Oh, so. she yes, said she that. Did. She said that herself. So. No, but I, I didn't want to say meet that. your mother. Shh. Please. You didn't invite her to come up to hey, Jersey she, to meet your mother. Yes, she talked to my he mother asked. on the phone, yes, and she was did. like, I want to meet your mother, I want to meet your mother. I never told her I'm going to let her meet my mother. Yes, never you did. did. Yes, you did, oh, Stop man. lying. Well, let me ask you this. Why are you interested in meeting his mother yeah. when it's been a year and a half? I don't know. I mean, I was, ba I was basically just going just to try to, you know, You just wanted to see him again. Him. Right, right. Tell right. The truth. Basically, tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Hoping that he'd want you back. Right, right. Didn't work out? No. I guess not. Now he should pay for it. Exactly. Mrs. Johnson, what you think about that? I don't think so. After oh, all, yeah. your wife did come to see you to try I, to work I, out the relationship. I don't think so at all. What did you do when she got there? You know, some things. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I like, you know, use that type of language. Sexual things. Yeah. So that's what you did? Yeah. And did you ask her to come up? No. Well, it was nice to see her a little bit, you know, but... Mm -hmm. But she started arguing with me, you know. And that's when you told her to go back? the same old, same old thing. I just started arguing with you. You didn't want me to go nowhere. Well, if you leave, just take your bags with you. You know, yeah. he even got my stuff and threw it down the steps at me and told me to get my stuff and that's go That's because she asked some guy across the street if he had a car. What? Yeah, because A stranger? I, he, that's right, because he, I didn't have no way to the bus station. I didn't have any I was going to take her. I was, so she going to get there. I had to pay for the motel room once we got there. You mean you paid for a job? A she pulled a job, right? And then you paid and for I a had motel to pay. room to have That's sex with right. him. Your money, right? You wanted him that bad? Yes, I tried to work things out with him. Uh, you know? Oh, you were doing it because he was your husband? No, I was doing it because I wanted to be with him and I was trying to earn him back, and that was the only way that I could. It's just the pay. You didn't for have a place to live? Oh, man. Excuse me? You didn't have a place to live? I couldn't. I do. Yeah. She so went to my mother's you... house. This the oh, first you were night. Oh, you with your mother. Yeah, it was the first night. So, out of respect for your mother and yeah. you all could have some privacy, you went to the motel. Well, you... And you didn't have the decency to pay for the motel room? Wait, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. Well, then explain it to me. We, we, she wanted to go high. We were high. That's it. Your wife? Yeah. Who had, who had taken the money and brought the ticket. I ain't telling you. And you didn't it. have your own place to go and you d wouldn't pay for the motel room? Nope. Not at all. How much was that? I don't know, about 40 maybe $50, $60. Man. How much? I don't he know. He didn't pay, so how does he know? Because he the one that went in and got the room. I stayed in the car. Oh, uh, see, now You gave him the money? Yes. Gave it all, all of it. How much was it, <laughs> Mr. Johnson? <laughs> Shut like up. Like $40-something dollars. I put the rest there. What was the total cost of that motel room? I don't know, like 60-something dollars. And you don't think you should pay for the round trip ticket? The oh. ticket back to Jersey. Was it round trip? Yeah, it was a round so trip. So you never Definitely. planned to stay? She wasn't staying. You weren't gonna let her stay. You're right. But you didn't mind if she came up so you all could, you know, go to the motel one more time. It wasn't like that though. I really did want to talk with her. You know, when she got up there, she just started the same thing. Started What's arguing that? with me, fussing with me, fighting with me. About and what? She hadn't seen you in a long time. That's how she is. She nitpicks on things. She just wants to pick a fight. She just wants to fight. That's it. That's all she wants to do is fight. 
and you sincerely and honestly feel that he should pay for that ticket. I really do believe that. I paid it out of my own pocket, out of my own money, you know, and I wasn't getting that much. You it was know, our I know, own choice to come up. I know then. it's not nothing but not mine. $171, but it's $171 that came out of my pocket to be with him after he told me that he didn't want to be with me no more. You know, that was it. So there you go. That was about the, all that before that's I came told up there. That's you, a, you I told you before that, you so even I came up that I ain't want to be with wouldn't you. Wouldn't I be kind of peed off and, oh, please. God, Jesus. Don't call on him like that. <laughs> that's the only one I can call right now. Go ahead. You don't call me no more. Stop making collect calls. It don't calls, matter. Too. I won't never call you no more. You ain't the only man on the face of this earth. Nah, you ain't the only woman either. So I'm just saying. Well, Mind what it's right, called. It's quits. What you think? Yeah, that's about enough. I think you're right. I'll make a decision. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. My decision, when I'm making it, is not to argue back and forth with you. I'm trying to give you my explanation as to why, although I owe you none. And an update on the case of Shanna Watkins versus Jeff Watkins. He flirted with a lot of other females, like right in front of me. I love everyone. Flirting is nothing but harmless banter. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Markeisha Prayer, who says her husband Donald needs to learn to act like a man and give a woman what she needs. I think it's ridiculous that you think that I should order him to pay for a, a ticket because you're an adult person who made a decision to go see your husband and you made a choice of how much money you were going to spend knowing your limitations without any promise or expectation that he would reimburse you. That's a choice you made. Why should he have to reimburse you? Because I don't think that that's his promise to reimburse you. That was a choice you it made. Is not. It is he not. didn't ask you to come, he said. He, he didn't did promise to reimburse to you. You did ask me okay, to come. Let's say that later the truth. My decision when I'm making it is not to argue back and forth with you. I'm trying to give you my explanation as to why, although I owe you none. I understand that. So, I believe that you just have to eat that. Now, on the other hand, since you shared in the pleasure of that motel room, the least you could have done was paid for that. So now you give her back $60 for the cost of the motel room. That's the order. That's the least you could have done. She's your wife. She did come to see you. She paid for the ticket. At least you could have paid for the room. And when you think about it and be fair and honest in your own head, you know I'm right, don't you? Yeah, you're right. Yes, you're right. So the order is that you, Mr. Johnson, is to reimburse Ms. Pryor for $60. And that's the cost of the motel room. But in terms of the ticket, not the full reimbursement. So in effect, you get some of your money back. That's the order of the court. Court's All adjourned. rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Shauna Watkins versus Jeff Watkins. We rented a little bit of space in a, in a park and put a two-room tent up there. You moved your family with two children to a camp. I had nowhere yes. else to go. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Shanna Watkins said her four-year marriage to her husband Jeff ended because he made her feel like she was worthless. He flirted with a lot of other females, like right in front of me. I love everyone. Flirting is nothing but harmless banter. He made me feel as if I had extremely low self-esteem. I felt horrible and I felt ugly. And, and I've never told her she was ugly. I've always told it. her she was beautiful and that she had a, a, you know, a great body. And when Jeff blew their money, they ended up with no place to live. He would spend it on going to strip clubs and going to adult bookstores and things like that. We rented a little bit of space in a, in a park and put a two-room tent up there. You moved your family with two children to a camp I had nowhere yes. else to go. They came to court because Shauna wanted Jeff to pay a furniture storage bill, and Jeff wanted Shauna to return a comic book collection that he wanted to pass on to his sons. 
the judge decided that Shauna should pay the storage bill and keep the furniture and give the comic books to Jeff. Jeff says he is still raising their two sons and spends lots of time reading the comic books to them. He's also going to court to gain full custody. Shauna says she plans to go to college and hopes to regain custody of her children. I don't feel like it's right. I think he should have paid me all my money. Because it's only right. I mean, he didn't pay for the rooms. He, I didn't have nowhere to stay, and I want my money. And I didn't get it. Uh, we got married too soon. It was just, we jumped into something that we shouldn't have jumped into. It was just, it was just too soon. We were too young, and now we got to face the consequences now. I don't want the marriage to end.